a really happy life. Because I don't know if I owe people money. I don't know if I've offended someone. <laughs> <laughs> Our right hand on your left shoulder, left hand on your right shoulder, and you go? give yourself a big, big hug. Oh, good I'm job. so good. Yeah. There's an awareness that you're losing it, for sure. There is that awareness which is extremely frustrating. Yeah. Denial for sure. I mean, to me, I'm as brilliant as I was when I was 24. <laughs> Moving in with our family was wonderful, but I lost my freedom. I felt, right? But it, I wasn't losing my freedom, I was gaining it because I, there are things that I don't remember. Take medication now or whatever. I don't need to worry about that now. I've got family. And this is a family photograph. This is how many years old? Two or three now? Two. That's Julian Trajan's family. The change in roles happens gradually, right? So when they first came, I was still treating them like they were my parents. Like, they knew how to make decisions. Like, they could do certain things that they couldn't do. I think that it's not what I thought it was, for sure. You know, I think I always imagined it worst case scenario. And I realized there's lots of, there's not even female phases maybe, but there's lots of stages and places to be within that whole diagnosis of dementia. I never realized you know, like my mom and my dad are completely different in the way that they are exhibiting their symptoms of dementia. And that was him when dementia was developing. <clears throat> and I guess the other thing that I've, another thing that I've learned is that there's a lot of people out there who are dealing with well, people our age, I guess, people who have parents who have dementia but don't have a diagnosis. There's so many people that are suffering without a diagnosis, which means they're not getting help that they need. And I always recommend going to see someone and getting a diagnosis because really until we had the diagnosis for my parents, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Honestly, the guest house has been one of the critical pieces to our to our organization puzzle. And it fit the bill for both of us. So, you know, we love my mom, she loves us, <laughs> but sometimes you just need a break. Yeah. You need to, like, I need a break from my kids. I like to go away for a little while and it's not because you don't care about each other. <laughs> it actually helps you care about each other more because you have a break. You, you know, yeah. you get to a point where you're just, you're exhausted from taking care of everybody else's needs. One of my grandchildren put the, the pictures up for me. That's my husband and I on our wedding day. But as the short-term memory starts to fade, they start to recall things from long ago. And that actually is one of the, it's actually one of the really nice things about dementia. And that's one of the first songs my husband sang to me when we began dating. <laughs> a lot of people think because someone has dementia that they're stupid. But there are times of clarity, obviously. And, um, and it, it doesn't matter what state a person's mind is in, they still need love.